date is 15th February 2023. Essence, Baba's elevated versions. Essence is, Baba says, sweet children, the furnace of yoga is most valuable for you because it is in this furnace that your sins will be burnt away. So what Baba says to us that we have to sit in yoga which is we are so focused and concentrated in Baba's remembrance only. And that is called furnace of yoga, where we are only thinking of Baba and nothing else. So that powerful yoga, that concentration, meditation, it's called, it, it, it will, what it will help us in burnt away all our sins, which we have accumulated for the last 63 births. So today's question is, which children have the knowledge of the seed and the tree very clearly in their intellects? Answer is, those who churn the ocean of knowledge. The early morning hours of nectar is a very good time for churning knowledge. Wake up early in the morning and let your intellect remember the one, because it is early in the morning when we don't have any other business. We don't have to deal with any other household chores or any other things. So that is the best time to churn the ocean of knowledge, this Murli points. And that is the time when we have to remember one Baba. Whole day also we have to remember him being Karma Yogi. But that is the main time where we wake up and say good morning to Baba and sit in his remembrance and do the churning of the Murli points. Let the soundless chant continue. There is no need to say Shiv Baba, Shiv Baba in a subtle or physical way. Remember him with your intellect. So there is no need to chant anything. Baba says this our journey is to go beyond sound, which is Param Dham. So where there is no sound, it's only silence. So we have to do remember Baba in complete silence. Om Shanti. The spiritual father sits here and explains to the spirits, that is, he explains to the children. The father says, I also have a body and this is how I am able to speak. How does Baba have a body? Because he borrows Brahma Baba's body. He enters Brahma Baba's body. That's how he gives us this knowledge and he is able to speak. You should also think, I am a soul and I am listening through this body, means through this our body, which we have at this moment. You have to imbibe this knowledge very well, just as the father has imbibed it. Knowledge is imbibed by the intellects of you souls. Just as it is in the father's intellect, so your intellects should imbibe it. The explanation of the seed and the tree is very easy. A gardener, for, for example, Baba says, a gardener has knowledge of how a huge tree will emerge by planting such and such a seed. Baba explains that this also has to be imbibed by your intellects. Just as all of this remains in my intellect means Baba's intellect, so it should also remain in yours. That will only happen when you churn the ocean of knowledge. The early morning, morning is a very good time for churning the ocean of knowledge. You don't have any other business, etc. at that time. People also perform devotion early in the morning. They go here and there, means temple or sit somewhere and, a chant, and chant a name or sing songs and make a lot of noise. So sometimes people go for a walk and there also they do devotion, means they are chanting mantras there. So Baba says people go here and there or sit somewhere and chant a name or sing songs and make a lot of noise. Some just say Rama Rama internally. That is the soundless chant of devotion. Some even rotate a rosary. You don't need to say Shiva Shiva. The things that people do on the path of devotion should not happen in knowledge because this knowledge is different from devotion. Here we have to do everything in incognito way, in silence. Many have the habit of chanting Shiva Shiva. You do not need to say Shiva Shiva either in a physical or a subtle way. You children understand that our father has come. He would definitely come in someone's body. He doesn't have a body of his own. He is beyond rebirth. Rebirth takes place in this human world. Baba says in, 
supreme abode in corporeal world there is no rebirth so baba is eternal there is he doesn't go through any births and deaths that cycle so baba says that rebirth takes place only in this human world lakshmi and narayan are the two forms of vishnu people say dev dev mahadev means dt dt great dt so who is the great dt in the path of devotion we say mahadev which they call shiva brahma and vishnu have a connection with each other why they have connection because it's a brahma who becomes vishnu with all the effort he makes at the confluence age and then later on after till vishnu becomes brahma taking 84 births his final birth is brahma so vishnu becomes brahma so they have connection with each other whereas shankar has no connection at all this is why he is given greater importance he does not take rebirth he receives subtle body shiv baba doesn't even have a subtle body and this is why he is the highest on high he is the unlimited father you children understand that you are claiming the unlimited inheritance of happiness from the unlimited father you have to follow the father shrimat completely it is as though those who have remembrance and inspire others to have remembrance become baba's helpers because in yesterday's murli also baba said that if you don't stay in remembrance and then if you inspire others or you you tell others to stay in remembrance the arrow will not strike the target because you are not doing it and then just telling others with your mouth you have to first do it in a practical way and then only when you tell others then only the arrow will strike the target means the others will also get the effect of your words what you are telling so baba says here it is as though those who have remembrance and inspire others to have remembrance becomes baba's helpers so first we have to remember ourselves baba and then tell others remember the father and the inheritance baba continues to explain to you children that your 84 births are now almost completed and that very little time now remains we have to be very careful and we have to keep this in our mind all the time that very little time now remains in a play actors understand when only half an hour remains that they will go then they will then go home they continue to watch the clock where in this actual world where when actors are playing their part in a drama then they keep continue to keep seeing the clock because then they know after so and so time the drama is going to come to an end so here baba says yours is an unlimited huge clock which is what which is the clock of world cycle it has been explained that you now have to return home by remembering the father your sins will be absolved in no other scripture is such easy yoga mentioned they do a great deal of hatha yoga they make a lot of effort you mothers are not able to do that because the way they do the postures in hatha yoga it's very difficult to bend your knees and bend your legs and all those things so baba says you don't have to sit in shell postures like the yogis do yes you do have to sit with discipline in the gathering yours is raj yoga you have to sit in a semi lotus position like how brahma baba used to see you can see in his picture how brahma baba used to sit by your sitting in yoga in such a royal way there will be intoxication in hatha yoga they interlock their legs baba doesn't give you such difficulty however there has to be a slight difference in sitting in an ordinary way like for example slouching bending your back and sitting so baba says no it shouldn't be that you have to have your back straight and in certain way so baba says there has to be a slight difference in sitting in an ordinary way and sitting in yoga you are studying raj yoga and so you should sit in a such a way that human beings understand that this is a raj yoga these are your royal manners you are being made into kings of kings by the unlimited father so we have to follow how the kings 
sit and stand and eat in a royal way, we also have to follow because in future we are also going to be the kings of the kings. You should remember such a father again and again. You do not remember the father in the golden age. You only remember yourselves. In the iron age, souls neither know the father nor themselves. They simply call out to the father. You have now come to know Baba very clearly. No one else understands that the father is a dot. They say that he is very subtle and yet they also say that he is brighter than a thousand suns. Those things don't match. Since they say that he is beyond name and form, how can they say that he is brighter than a thousand suns? Previously, you also used to think in that way. The father says, this explanation had to be given later on in the drama. The subtlest and the deepest aspects have to be understood and then explained to others. Don't think why we why were we told previously that God was brighter than a thousand suns and that we are now told that he is just a dot. It is only when someone is studying, Baba is giving the example. It is only when someone is studying for the ICS, means Indian Civil Service, that he would speak about the ICS. How could he speak about it beforehand? So Baba will give us each part by part the, the explanation as the drama and he unfolds the drama as it comes. So Baba says, when you are ready, I will explain to you everything as it comes. There is no need to be confused about this. According to the drama, when Baba has to explain, he will explain. Baba will explain further because the father's influence has to spread. Just as you are souls, in the same way, he too is a soul. He resides in the supreme abode. He is called the supreme soul. When he comes here, he gives knowledge. The father says, when the world becomes impure, I have to purify it. They call out, O oh, purifier, O oh, remover of sorrow, bestower of happiness, come. He comes at the confluence age. When the night is over, the day will begin. And it will be the end of the old world. So when the night is over, over means when the Iron Age is becoming over, the day will begin. Means right now we are at the Brahmins are at the Confluence Age. So we know that we are going towards Golden Age. And then it will be the end of the old world. You will reach your Karmatit stage at the end. Karmatit stage means complete. When we are complete and perfect. You have to live at home. You must not leave that. Remain as pure as a lotus flower while forming connections for the livelihood of your bodies. Deities were completely pure, but when and how did they become like that? Surely they must have made effort in order to receive their reward. Their reward was created according to their efforts. As are the actions, so will be the reward. This continues to happen. You have now found the father one who teaches you how to act. You have to remember him very well. You are adopted children. There is a great deal of adoption among the Marwadis, a tribe in India. You too are adopted. You are not born through a womb. When, when someone is adopted, we are not born through a womb, means we are mouth-born creation of Brahma. We are Brahmins. So Baba says when someone is adopted, he remembers both his fathers, means his real father, physical father, and the father who has adopted him. So Baba says until the very end of his life, he remembers whose child he really is and also the father who adopted him. You also know whom you used to belong to and whose children you have now become. So whose children we were? We were our Lokic father's children, means our physical father who gave us the birth. So we, who brought us 
who created us and brought us into this world. So we remember both fathers. That is one physical father, and this is now the father beyond the world, means Shiv Baba, Parlokit father, who has adopted us. And, and then in between there is one spiritual father, which is Brahma Baba, through whom we are the mouth born creation of Brahma. So Baba says, you know that you have been adopted by the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. He is the creator of heaven. For how long does his creation last for half a cycle? Ravan is the creator of hell and his kingdom also lasts for a half a cycle. From Sato Pradhan, it becomes Tamo Pradhan. This has to be understood. If you don't understand something, you can ask. When there is an eclipse of the sun or the moon, they say give a donation and the eclipse will be removed. The sun and the moon are memorials of the mother and father. Here both males and females experience an eclipse. This is why it is said, give the donation of the five vices. There is an eclipse once or twice a year. Here it is a question of every cycle. Only one only once does the father come to take this donation, donation of our vices. Human beings have become completely ugly. This is the Iron Age. When real gold has alloy mixed into it, it becomes tarnished. There is the new home and the old home. There is a difference between a newborn baby and an old person. Baba says, a little baby is very sweet and lovely. Everyone kisses a baby and takes it in their lap. When a body becomes old and decayed, they say it is better to renounce it. Why should more pain to be endured? A soul sheds a body and takes another. Here you don't allow the sick to die because the more they listen, the better it is. The more they li listen Baba's knowledge, they do churning of knowledge, and what happens is they re remain in Baba's remembrance. So it helps them to absorb their all the past sinful actions. So Baba says the better it is. This is the only chance when you get to absolve your sins. Let them, so Baba says, let them continue to remember Shiv Baba and the inheritance. People forget everything when they are ill and, and, and in a lot of pain. However, the one in whom they have faith appears in front of them at that time. So if we have connection or a, a, a attachment with our family member or anyone, then Baba says that, that will, they will appear in front of the, uh, them that time. Your promise is mine is one Shiv Baba and none other. So why do you remember someone else? The father says, you should not remember anyone except me. It is said, someone who remembers his wife at the end will reach his destination accordingly. Although they recite the whole of this words, they do not understand the meaning of it. All the things they remember on the path of devotion are from the confluence age. At this time, you simply have to remember the father and the inheritance. The status of Sri Narayan is your reward. And so the full meaning of this should be in your intellects. Many people remember it without understanding the significance of it. They just remember thinking Lakshmi and Narayan are God and they just keep chanting their name or they just do sing a lot of devotional songs, things like that. But they don't understand the significance of it, that who made this Lakshmi Narayan? How did they get this inheritance? How did they become the emperor and empress of the golden age? They don't know anything about it. So Baba says, at the end, whomsoever you have the most love for will be remembered. You have to remain, in, remain very cautious. You only have to remember the one father. The father says, man manabhav means, Consider yourself as a soul and remember Supreme Soul in Supreme Region. You children say, Baba, we met you every cycle. We come to Madhuban to receive this knowledge from you. This is the mantra that disciplines the mind. The Sadguru gives you such a mantra that you become immortal. This is the mantra to conquer Maya. Due to this, 
they say that Tulsidas dropped some sandalwood on a stone and that God then appeared and gave him the tilak of sovereignty. That applies to this time and it is remembered later on. You children are receiving the unlimited tilak of sovereignty and remembering the father and the inheritance. If you leave the body in remembrance of the father and the kingdom, you receive a tilak of sovereignty. It is not that only one will receive it. There is the rosary of 108 and also the rosary of 16,108. Now simply remember Baba accurately. Yesterday Baba mentioned in the Murli how to remember him accurately with patience, with understanding and with maturity. For Baba, it is said, your ways and means are unique. Only you know them. That is accurate. He is the one who grants salvation and he is the one who knows. Previously, you simply used to sing this without understanding the meaning of it. That is called meaningless. There was no attainment at all. While giving donations and performing charity, etc., human beings have continued to fall without achieving anything. Everything has become meaningless by devilish dictates being followed. This one used to worship means Brahma Baba used to worship Narayan. And from being a worshipper, he is now becoming worthy of worship in a practical way. You children now understand that Shiv Baba is teaching us. You have to remember this firmly. Otherwise, your sins will not be absolved. This furnace of yoga is most valuable. You also receive liberation. Some say that they want peace of mind. Ask them. First of all, tell us who made you peaceless. Previously, you were peaceful. You have now become peaceless and this is why you ask for peace. The whole world needs peace. Nothing can be achieved by just one person receiving peace. The whole world is not going to become peaceful just because one person receives peace. Baba says, ask them, who made you peaceless? They become confused. It is explained that there is the land of peace, the land of happiness, and this is land of sorrow. There are very few hum human beings in the land of happiness. At that time, all other souls are in the land of peace. You will receive peace there. You cannot receive it here. Here it is the land of sorrow and there is peacelessness at times of sorrow. This is very easy to explain to anyone. There is only the one father who gives you the inheritance of peace and happiness. In the golden age, there are both peace and happiness. Here soul, souls wants their minds to become peaceful, but you have to go to, but you have to go home to your supreme abode for that because there is only silence, because there are no bodies. Souls are residing there. So it's all pin drop silence, basically. So Baba says, if you want silence, and I mean peace, then go to supreme abode for that. However, no impure soul can go up there and so this is why the father explains, remember me and your final thoughts will lead you to your destination. Remember the father and the inheritance. However, Maya is such that she doesn't allow you to become pure. Just look how innocent ones are assaulted. Some cannot remain without poison. Baba receives. Baba receives many types of news. The greatest violence is the lust, the enemy. The father says, children, renounce poison. Do not dirty your faces. They say, yes, we will try. This is the poison that causes you sorrow from its beginning through the middle to the end. However, if it is not in their fortune, they do not listen. When the Father sits here and tells a soul that from today he should not indulge in vice. 
he simply looks down because he doesn't have that courage to follow the Baba's stream, that means direction. Baba says lust is the greatest enemy. It is not a good thing. This is vicious world. Everyone is impure. In the golden age, all are completely viceless. Achha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children who have come and met Baba after a cycle, that is after 5000 years, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada, the spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. And we spiritual children give our love, remembrance and say good morning to the mother, the father and Babdada. Mithe mithe shikle de bacho prati maat pita baap dada ka yaat pyaar or good morning rohani baap ki rohani bacho ko namaste or hum rohani bacho ki rohani maat pita baap dada ko yaat pyaar good morning or namaste. Thank you Baba. Essence for Dharna. Point number one. Very little time remains. Therefore become complete helpers of the father. Remember the father and the inheritance and inspire others to do the same. Point number two, in the final moments, only the father should be remembered. For this, let your heart have love for the one father. Don't remember anyone except the father. Be very cautious about this. Today's blessing is, May you become equal to the Father by making your thinking, speaking and doing equal. It should not be that with thinking something else, talking something else and doing totally completely different. So Bab Dada says, no, it shouldn't be the same. So Baba is explaining in detail. Bab Dada now wants to see all the children complete and equal to him. In order to become complete, let your thinking, speaking and doing be equal. You have to make all the preparations for this. You have this thought and you also desire it. But this desire will only be fulfilled when you become ignorant of the knowledge of all other desires. Many little desires do not allow this one desire to be fulfilled. Slogan is, in order to experience the avyat and karmatit stage, Make your words, actions, and way of life equal. So today's Baba Smurli is finishing and we remain in remembrance for one minute, two minutes, and then we finish the Murli. <laughs>